Extremes. Eh, I think I'd take Overblood in that case. Okay. Hey, Gander. Hey, did you? Blood, 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 blood. My drink is even red today. You can't tell, but believe me, it's red. <laughs> Blood drink today. <sighs> okay. I think I got everything going here. <clears throat> hey, Rakuji. Yep, last night, intense ending to uh, yesterday's segment of Bloodborne. <sighs> it's only going to get tougher from here, probably. Well, maybe not for the the first bit of the stream. We'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. Let's get going here. So, Bloodborne. Blood, 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 blood. Part 5. 16 hours. 32 uh, 32 deaths. Five bosses defeated. Uh, the last boss was a 3v1 fight. So, sure. I guess fair enough, since I was able to bring a co-op partner into one. Um, so, fair enough that bosses can go 3v1 if I was doing bosses 1v2. So, fair enough game. Fair enough. Uh, in case you missed it last time... Hey, Howen. Uh, here is what happened. If I can find the button for it. Previously, on Bloodborne. Previously, a closed gate. Hmm? There's an opening in the ground over there. Okay. Oh shit! This this is probably going to collapse if I walk onto it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the bird pit. This might actually be that. Looking at the size of this hole and the... <laughs> I wonder if this is. Oh my god, it is. What the fuck? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But... If you refuse to leave... Oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. <laughs> she's a... she's a boss? This won't hurt a bit. I'll see you oh. oh fuck, I couldn't... I <sighs> okay. Like, look at this thing. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! No, get me out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> These are alive. I am so sorry. Oh my god. 
Jewish. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sir. You look like an enemy. Not dead, sir. Okay. What do you say? Why not join the league? Let's do it. Yes, as a hunter, well should. One down. Strong against fire. Uh, most recent boss kill was Shadow of Yarnum, the 3v1 fight. Finish that one. Uh, on the first try. All right. That should bring us up to speed here. So, uh, most recent boss was Shadow of Yarnum. That was the 3v1 fight. Uh, first try on that one. First one on that. Uh, and a reminder before we get into things here, if you want to discuss game mechanics, future bosses, stuff I haven't seen yet, uh, hints, tips, whatever, put them behind the spoiler tag here so that I don't see them or hear them. I'd like to keep this playthrough as spoiler-free as possible uh, so I could have a pure experience no matter how tough it might be for this one. Uh, it also works for images, so make sure to utilize that function. Um... All right, so when I was reviewing the VODs for making the previously, I realized that I completely missed uh, or overlooked and or forgot about a path that I could have taken. Um... Because I was, I had something else at the forefront of my mind at the time, which was I, after I beat the cathedral boss, um, or sometime, sometime after that, either before or after that, um, I was given the meteorite piece and told to go to the right of the, the right of the church, slightly rounded the right of the great cathedral, seek an ancient shrouded church, gift of the godhead. So that part got me got me set on that path. What I what I forgot at that time and and since then there is also a left of the great cathedral as well. <laughs> um cuz I looked up in my my vod, I think it was in part 3 of me going to the left there seeing in like an entire area it looks like just past that and turning around and going back the other way and i never came back um and so yesterday in part four i spent all my time progressing in this area past past that part in a much harder area i think and there's probably some stuff that's more level appropriate over here um by the the grand cathedral than the stuff I was doing yesterday, which was over here in the Forbidden Woods. Um, so... 
I don't know. I I might have an easier time because now I'm I'm probably over leveled for whatever's in that area. So I guess there there's no excuse for it not to go smoothly. Um okay, I don't have any Molotovs. I also have like barely any currency. Um hey Shantak. Also hey folks that rolled in during the, the previously here. Uh Oh, that's... Okay. Huh. Interesting. The Molotovs don't refill from your, uh... Your inventory. <laughs> For some reason. So I, I have 10 in my inventory. Er, in my storage, but not my inventory. Let's, uh... Let's grab those, I guess. And I have 20 on poison knives, too. Um... Let, let's take... Five. Let's ration these. Um, and then obviously I'm still good, as you can see, on blood vials and quicksilver bullets for my my storage cache here. I did not do any off screen off stream grinding for uh, for those this time. So this picks up directly after uh, part four of last night. Um, so I can't upgrade my saw cleaver plus six anymore until I get. Two more bloodstone chunks. I got one bloodstone chunk, I think, from... It wasn't from an enemy drop. It was from just a, an item laying on the ground. Um, so I think the bloodstone chunks likely won't drop from enemies until a much later area, I'm guessing. Either, like, the second, second half of this area or from here or here, I'm guessing. Um... I doubt I'd have to go to the DLC to to get stuff like that. Um. So yeah, I did uh, at the end of last time. I leveled up with her, which is why I only have three thousand uh, blood echoes. I think I got twenty thousand or so for the boss, the boss kill last night. So first things first, then is checking out the area here that I completely forgot about <laughs> until until I was looking at the VOD uh, today. Okay. Alright, hopefully y'all are having a good day, night, morning, whatever so far. We had one day of warm weather here and now it's back to overcast and and chilly again i'm gonna be like that for a week plus so great oh that's right there's enemies here and they're much easier to kill now okay so the um the shrouded church was that way this way is where i haven't been yeah, I, I like rainy weather too. It it is it is windy as shit here. Being as close to the ocean as I am, like being able to hear the ocean every night, like I can tell when the ocean is angry because <laughs> I can hear it from from my window, uh, and it's uh, the constant sea wind kind of gets to you after a bit. Uh, okay, so down here, this is as far as I got down down this. So I went here, looked in there, and then I just turned around and left. And that that was what I did previously here so far. <laughs> so So this is hopefully got some progress to it and isn't like he hears this one item and then turn around again. And if it is one item, it better be really good. Uh Yeah. Uh okay, so it looks like we got is that a is that a a dog? That might be a dog. Hey Prism, going good. Just started here tonight on this one. This is an area in the first area of the game that I completely overlooked was here. <laughs> so, 
I did a bunch of stuff over my level yesterday, and this would have been more level appropriate. So now I'm over leveled for this area, I guess. All right, we got we got a gun club meeting here. Huh! Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there there is a difference though between killing an enemy in two hits and killing an enemy in like eight hits and having to to spend three minutes on every encounter is more what I mean. Okay, this was has a lot of currency items. So these guys actually properly aim and lead their shots. What? All right. It's no longer gun club. It is sword club. Oh, God. Like, these guys I probably wouldn't have been able to, to one-shot if I didn't uh, upgrade my stuff yesterday and, and level a little bit. Yeah, this is like Bullet City. If you need to grind, grind bullets, this is the place to do it, I guess. Every NPC here drops like four. Thing is dropping keys though. Oh, for oh god. I can't even tell where these guys are half the time. <sighs> I'd rather be fighting these things than the the weird snake things in that other area. Okay, looks like there's an item here. Yeah. This twin blood shards not really useful to me as much anymore. I should probably just sell those at some point unless I want to upgrade upgrade new new gear. I don't know, it, it feels a little cheesy to me. You just using the the saw cleaver for the whole game. But it's working, so I don't know. Unless I run into like a hard roadblock later. I might just use these. <laughs> Alright. What do you bet this is locked from the other side? Oh, okay. Hemwick Charnel Lane. This looks like a whole nother little city here. Or just another part of Yarnum. Okay. Oh, we got a warp point here, too. Sick. Okay. Not like it was hard to get here, but I'll take it. All right. So it was just a whole ass other area that I completely missed last time. Uh... 
Okay, so we got... That's a pitchfork user. So it looks like there's at least four. Four down there. There might be somebody there. Uh, one up there. It's probably going to run down. Okay. So as long as I don't get surrounded, we'll be okay, probably. Um, and I think just in case, let's do this. I can't remember if um, if lighting lighting the lamp makes it your your current respawn location or not. So just in case it doesn't. We'll, uh, huh. This. Oh. Okay. Huh, that's part of that area. Interesting. Okay. So it's about 11,000 is how much currency I need to, to level up now. This might be... Huh. Alright. Hello. Are so good. <sighs> An NPC here. Okay, that, that sounded like the same take of that one, so that's probably the only thing they say. Okay, so we got an elevator, it looks like. Okay, of course. Yep, I gotta, gotta see video of recording those lines in the, in the actor's studio. making that growling sound. Is that a ladder? That's a ladder. That I can't climb. Okay. Alright. So up there is further progress. Another bloodshot eyeball. That was for some... Oh. Hello. Okay, so it looks like I can't get into this building. Yeah, okay. Alright, only way forward is this way then. What the bloodshot eyeball do again? Uh... Oh, chalice stuff, yeah. Doggies. Whoa. 
Who did that? Oh. Hello. I didn't miss anything here. It stairs up that way. Looks like there's an item up there. Okay. Nope, oh, can't get over that. It's knee height. guys usually drop health. Yep. Okay. How many of those do I have? 20. Okay. sure if this gate isn't openable from this side. Okay. So obviously got to open that from the other side. This looks like there'd be something up here. Of course not. ambush she got here. Uh-oh. Strongest enemy in the game. Okay. That looks like a bad time. Got a bridge up that way, and then we got this. This must be that. Oh, okay. Cause it's... All right. I'm pretty sure I know where this goes, but just to be sure. Yeah, this just goes there. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything below that. Okay. Uh. And actually, just in case, we'll send that down. Whoa. Yeah. Treasury. Oh, look. Yeah. 
What, what, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Huh. All right. That was an actual nice ambush. Uh, I think there's another one up there. Right up there. I think this is above where I was before. We're up okay. Oh good, more insight. I haven't seen a summon spot for a while. There's a summon before the, the cathedral fight, but I didn't use it. Hear him. Don't you dare knock me off this ledge. I see you. Big damage they do. Okay. All right, so we got an item over there. That's way down there. Not sure if I can get to that. That sounds like a dog. Off to my right, I think. Yeah, down there. Okay, and then that's the way down to that item. Oh, jeez. All right. I think she she countered me there because I was briefly stunned. You sick of me. Oh. 
Eh? Bunch of stinky, stinky bodies in here. Oh, it's those. I see. No, I, I still am not able to use runes. All right, let's open this. Uh, most of the runes that I would be equipping, if I was able to, um, are like plus 5% HP, plus 10% stamina. Um, and don't have anything to do with, uh, with damage, I think, from the ones that I've seen. Like, this one is max HP, 5%. This one's stamina, 10%. Um, extra heals. Uh, extra bullets. HP restore. Bullet restore. And then elemental resistance. It looks like. And then co-op stuff. So, I have four slots, it looks like, on the right there. But, I... <laughs> Currently can't do anything with them. Uh. Okay, so straight that way was where that item was. <sighs> we got buildings up there. I would want to go get that item before I forget about it. Yeah, the health one and the stamina one would be quite useful. Okay. It's a lot of doggies. And there's more. And there's... Okay, that's just regular enemy. Hey, where to go? Okay. Hopefully I can get back up. If I have to drop down to get that item. Man, I got a bunch of uh, cold bloods in this area. If I, I think if I used all of my cold bloods, I'd have like a hundred thousand lake. Huh? What is this? Increases defense. Physical damage reduction 3%. That one's not bad either. Because it's it's still mostly physical defense that I care about at this point. Poison hasn't really been much of an issue so far. So far. <laughs> and fire and bolt have also been pretty rare. Hey, boys. Yep. Uh, okay, so... Here's be it for here. the the axe guy I think yep another axe guy great okay come here
All right, come here. They had the high ground, and I paid for it. Okay. Temporary, a triangle one. That one's new. Rapid poison, arcane attack, slow poison. Huh. Rapid poison. Interesting. That's probably the same poison effect as, uh... Uh, the poison knife. Where it's just instant poison effect. But wears off faster. Oh man, I can't wait for all the prequel memes when the, the Obi-Wan show comes out in May. Oh good, more insight. Oh, it's Peepo. Come here, Peepo. Oh, it's just twin blood shards. Uh, I'm going to have to be on the lookout for Peepo. Okay, I thought that was an enemy. This looks like a boss room to me. It looks like we got an arena here. We have two two choke point doorways where they could put the the fog gate in. Okay. So let's heal up then. And equip that. I have antidote equipped. Okay. All right, just in case. Yep, of course. The Witch of Hemwick. Uh, that was the boss? Um. Oh, this is the boss. So the boss is... has got Predator. Active camo? I can hear her. Okay. Okay. I think I won. Maybe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Okay, the the witch of Hemwick. <laughs> that was the witch of Hemwick. Zero deaths. Yes, defeated. Oh no, I don't want to look at trophies. And all we got was bloodshot eyeballs out of it. Uh-oh, it sounds like we got an audio bug here. There we go. The Witch of Hemwick. Zero deaths. First try defeated. <laughs> Another one. Okay, that gave us a warp point. Oh, there's just... Where I defeated the witch right here, it's just constantly doing the damage sound effect. Great. Okay, we got a warp point. I have 42k... currency. Um... Alright, before we go further then, I want to spend... In that currency. And it's just gonna have to all go into leveling because I can't, uh. I don't have the materials to upgrade my weapon. I can at least repair it though. Oh, and I can put um, different gems in. Okay. Alright, so the first one we've got. Physical attack 5.4 and slow poison, and the other one's physical 7.3. Um, doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, so if I put the fire blood gemstone into there, it changes the, the attack type from physical to fire, and it does less damage by a lot. Um, this, though, if I put this into it, all it does is it adds a slow poison. So it'll be slow poison plus 3.2, it looks like. And sure, why not? It, any Every little bit helps, I guess, but it won't really move the needle much in terms of DPS. Okay, so we can get about three to four levels here. Yeah, three levels. Um, so at 26 strength, I'll be able to use the cannon. So that's, that's incentive to get that. Um, putting one point more into strength gives me three to my DPS. Which is pretty good. So I'll at least do that. Um, and then thinking ahead to how Carol runes might change the balance here. I'm going to get plus 10% stamina, most likely. So it's becoming less important to put points into endurance. Um... And probably more worth it to just put the rest into vitality here. We'll do that. Hunters have told me about okay. the church. Yeah, yeah. About the gods and their love. Uh, okay. Which is abode? Onward. Oh, I gotta hit the, the boss killed button. That was a pretty disappointing boss. <laughs> The, the additional enemies that spawned were super easy. And... Um, the witches revealed themselves. Like, that, that fight probably would have been a bit better if, like, you had to actually listen for them or, like, see, see physics crap moving around on the floor to see where they are. Um, until you got, like, within this distance of them and then they would appear rather than them revealing themselves so I, I think that fight probably could have been 
tuned a little bit because that one was just a joke. And I don't think it's because I'm overgeared <laughs> for this part. Okay, we got a hunter here. Rune workshop tool. Yo. Runesmith Carol. You can etch Carol runes into the mine to attain their wondrous strength. Let's go. All right. Finally. And that's probably it for this area, too. I'm thinking back to what was before this, and... There was an elevator up and down. I don't think there was any side paths at all. I think this... This is the whole reason for this whole area. Uh... Okay. Cool. Well, now I have no excuse now. Okay, so this is probably used at that altar that's inside the, the shack. So, now the question is here, how many slots do I actually have available to use? Memorize the Carol rune to acquire its eldritch strength. Oh, okay, so we have three general purpose slots, and then the fourth one is for our covenant. Um, each Peter and co-op. Sure, we'll cook that. Um, okay. HP 5%, stamina 10%. I want the stamina for sure. Um, HP, sure, we'll take that. Uh, vials up plus three. I'm not sure I I want the higher Quicksilver bullets because you can always press the up button on the D-pad to give yourself more bullets uh, temporarily, but you, you can't give yourself more heals. So... Um... And this one I can change out later for more defense against uh, bolts or poison. There's also this physical damage reduction plus three. That one also seems nice. But 3% isn't a huge amount. So I think I'd rather take the extra heals. Okay, so you can barely see it, but those are those are equipped. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. And you can see on my health bar now the extra extra health that I gained from that, which is that's a decent amount. Has nothing to sneeze at. Um. Okay. You got anything new to say? Hunters have nope. a of course not. Uh, so as far as loose ends go... I think we're probably completely done with Yarnum then. Because I'm racking my brain here about any other side pass that I put off until later. There was there was a door. Um there was a big double door in old Yarnum. Uh in the the werewolf area. 
that was not openable from my side, the side that I could get to. And I didn't see any way to get behind it. Um, so that's, that's one thing I don't think I've done yet in that area. I don't think I, I, I probably still don't have access to it. Just like the getting to behind the clinic. It's probably the same deal. The way to get to that is from some other distant part of the world somewhere. So I don't think I'm going to worry about that one then. Um, and that leaves Forbidden Grave. So this is where I beat the bosses last night. The, uh, the three robed figures that took me on 3v1, and I won. First try. In this little area here. Um, I probably missed stuff in the forest area. Uh, where all the snakes were. But I'm not really inclined to go through that anytime soon. Like, maybe when I'm more leveled, <laughs> then I'll take on that. Because that area sucked. So, I think I'll put that one off for a bit. Alright, so past here is new, new stuff I've not seen. Oh, good, we got another nice level load zone, bro. And they got to reset the, the audio every time it does it, too. Come on. Come on, From Software. So I think when I saw this place from a distance last time, there looked like some fancy building. Uh, that looked like a big mausoleum. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Am I, am I about to go insane here? Okay. I'm not even sure what status effect that is. Uh. Also just noticed my uh, health didn't refill to uh to 23 yeah that ring sound pretty good uh well this area is quite something so far hey skull thank you is that another warp point no way this has got to be this has got to be a trap or something. Bergenworth. Huh. So this is this is the College of Bergenworth. So I have already had access to Bergenworth through the gigantic squid space squid monstrosity thing that picked me up and grabbed me and crushed me um and it it gave me access to the uh let's just do this to get my health back and <laughs> and more heals um and that was the the bergenworth lecture hall i think and now that, that was this i think yeah, the lecture building. This is this is the Bergenworth lecture building. So maybe that's the 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 Bergenworth down here is the main school, and then like a side building got sucked into time and space, and the only way to access it is through this. Maybe. Um. Interesting. Uh. Okay. So I do have twenty three heals now. So that's good. Um, so the problem here now is uh, there's been mentioned in game a few times about a password in order to get into Bergenworth. 
And I don't think I have a password. Because it said only only the um, the scholars from Bergenworth know the password. And you have to get it from one of them. And I don't think I've encountered one yet. Uh, hey, there's a, uh, a co-op thing. You know what? We got 16 in sight. Let's, let's bring a buddy. Maybe the buddy knows how to get into, get into Bergenworth. Summon younger Madaras twin. Okay, sure. All right. And I should have plus 3% health with co-op. So maybe this will give me the buff as well. Bro, where are you going? Oh. Alright, go get him. Go get him, buddy. Well, sure. All right, so I have a feeling I won't be able to get into the main, the main gate here. This is probably locked from the other side anyways. Closed by device, of course. Yep, we got to get to that. All right, let's get a look at our, our confederate here. All right, got axe. Looks like just a regular rifle. All right, sure. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta dodge much later than than you suspect. Oh yeah, that's um that Kirby game comes out this week, right? The semi-open world Kirby. I saw there was a Digital Foundry video of uh, of the Kirby game. I watched a little bit of it today, and it uh... it looks neat. <laughs> yeah, that grabs. Oh, there's a demo of the Kirby, huh? Well, Super Mario 3D World is a good game, so... That sounds like a good time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Younger... Younger Madaras twin. All right. Come on, twin. Go get him. Okay. Arcane Lake. All right. So we, we have Lake and now we have Arcane Lake. Increases Arcane Damage Reduction. All right. Well, considering how this area has gone so far, I might actually need that. I know, right? It's a rookie mistake. We got the short end of the stick here on our... our bell summon. Okay. That is... There's a big boy over there. Not sure I want to mess with that thing anytime soon. Well, let's check over here first. Of course. Of course. It looks like he's got passive health regeneration. Uh, yeah, 
we can't look at co-op stats. Yeah, it is. It is a research institute, right? Oh no. Okay. It looks like. Oh, jeez. All right, co-op buddy. He's all yours. Oh my God! Look at this thing. <laughs> That went okay. Uh, this looks like a fake wall, but of course I can't get up to it. Great one's wisdom. Gain much insight. Okay. Okay, this random, <laughs> random root growing here, sure. Five sedative, okay, so the, the old lady. <laughs> I know, right? Game would have been a lot shorter if we had that. Okay, so we opened up this shortcut. Good. Now we got a clear run to the warp point. Uh, that looks like a friendly, possibly. Or it's just a chair. Okay, never mind. That's a chair. Could be a friendly chair, though. Actually, is this, is this person? Nope. Nope, it's a desk. Okay, so this is... It looks like a trap door that has to be opened by some sort of mechanism. Sounds like it's coming down the stairs, whatever that is. Pearl slug. All right. Hold on. Whatever thing. Oh, it's a human. It's a human. on us. Alright. Blue elixir. Okay. Good thing I have my buddy here with this flaming axe. Just don't stop stop pointing that thing at me. <laughs> okay, let's see what our cool pearl slug is. Uh Oh, it's another chalice thing. 
Lame. Okay. Is this door openable? I'm guessing no. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, just here. Okay. Hey, out of the way. Hey. Okay, turns out this building isn't very big. Unless it's somehow bigger on the inside than the outside. What is this? Uh... Sure. Alright, I don't see a switch here to open that trapdoor. And I'm guessing the bulk of whatever's here is probably underneath that. That's a uh, an orrery. I think is what those are. This has got to be a trap. Let's open it. Okay. Oh, student uniform, student trousers. Let's go. Uh. Seventy. This is actually an upgrade. Or. It, it's pretty much the same as what I have on right now. Uh, okay, it's cl okay. Never mind. It's not even close. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Let's try it on though. All right, beautiful. Dracula clothes back on. Okay. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Period. Okay. All right. Good job, one note. Uh, when the red moon hangs low... The line between man and beast is blurred, and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. This is some um, La Milana shit here. Uh, I haven't seen a red moon yet. Um, actually, in the DLC I did, but this probably doesn't have to do with the DLC. I'm guessing. Uh, man and beast. So this is like a werewolf thing and the great ones descend. Huh. Okay. There's probably going to be cryptic shit like this all over this area. Okay. So we have a ladder up and we also have a door here. Let's see if this is openable. Nope. Of course not. Locked. So not locked by a device, just not openable from this side. All right, there's something on the floor above here. And our co-op buddy has not climbed the ladder yet. Lunarium key, okay. Go up, buddy. Were you planning on joining me? Uh, 
Oh, it's just... One of you again. Are you kidding me? I dodged that! God. At least this doesn't do much damage. It just... Makes an annoying sound. That's kind of weird that that doesn't do any damage at all. Or just does marginal damage. That I've I've gotten before, I think. Arcane power to a weapon. Okay, so that's that's a weapon buff. I know, right? Yeah, it, it's probably an instant death. If it fills up. Okay, that was the only thing here. This is this looks like a telescope. Buddy holding down the fort over here. Alright, so hopefully in the Lunarium. Is it an NPC? It's an NPC. Okay. Uh. Looks like they're pointing to this. Uh. So this moon isn't red. That there's ripples of water coming out from there. <sighs> okay. This this is probably going to kill me, but Moonside Lake. Okay. We got some sort of big, big spooky thing. We do not have our co-op buddy. I don't know which which end is the head and which is the butt. Okay, this is How's it going, buddy? Okay, this is not an NPC because I can't talk to it. All right, random three FPS tail animation. <laughs> uh, I'm 
sure. Something, something not right with that. Yeah, if something's like too far away or off screen, then they limit the animation. But <laughs> that's great that this this thing is big enough that it could just do that. All right, well, I I guess we got to fight, buddy. Letting me lock onto you. Can I? All right, I guess we're fighting. Rom the Vacus Spider. Okay. Yeah, that's true. This is our, our first spider alert. Oh, oh hey, there's our, our buddy. All right. Let's get him, buddy. damage at all. Okay, that... Feels like locking on in this fight is probably going to be counterproductive. All right, where are you at? Okay. All right, pouring out for co-op, buddy. Let's go. Okay, that's uh... That's a lot of damage. Okay. There's death number one to Rom. I'm weighing my options here. Based off of how that went. That might have been arcane damage that the boss is doing to me. Um... 11%. So I probably want to equip that in one of my slots there. 
Um, and I think first things first. I want to go into here and go get my money. Oh. Damien Amensis. Okay, maybe th maybe this guy will stand more of a chance. Oh, that's, that's a death. Almost missed the death there. Mensis Scholar Damien. And he's got a cool hat. And a big mirror for a shield. Uh this guy's probably a caster based off of the the cane. <sighs> well, it's worth a try. It's interesting that they put the they put the fog door back there. But I guess that makes sense because you can't really put it here. Okay. Here's my blood. Oh good, the fight starts immediately once you Oh good. Why does it feel like I blew my one chance at doing this fight easily. Pretty much, my uh, my co-op bro is not here. I know. At least he showed up. That was maybe ill. Now you fuck. <laughs> what? <sighs> now he shows up. What the fuck, man? <sighs> I'm wondering if I should even bother with the summon. Because that went pretty good. I didn't need his dumb ass there. Man. Alright, well, we'll do this without a summon. Because I was doing a bunch of damage. You just gotta get to his side. And then make sure to run. 
Okay, that was that was death number two to Rom the vacuous spider. This time we got this. You can also keep damaging while it's teleporting. Nope, 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 get out of there, get out of there. Okay, it does two rounds of shots. All right, that I didn't I didn't expect. I wanted to head right back in after I saw the first volley ending. So it does two volleys. Okay. That was death number 3. I have learned a new thing about that last phase. This time we got him. So actually, I learned two things from that last attempt. One, uh, the two volley thing, and the other thing, you can do damage to the boss while it's teleporting away. So when it starts to, to disappear until it's fully disappeared, you can still damage it. So important. I never picked up my uh, blood, did I? Oh, rip. Spiders, get out of the way. <laughs> I wonder if the back of it takes more damage.
clear out this spider party here. Okay, second volley. No second volley. Okay. So I either got to end this fight really quickly or I need to start dealing with the the additionals that spawn. Nope, not today. Not today, Eldritch Horror. Uh... You know what? We'll try one more time with this guy. Hopefully he spawns and actually shows up to the fight. Because if I can just have him distract the additional spooters for just a little bit, not much, just a little bit, then that should be enough to get me over the hill here and and be able to focus down the boss. But it all depends on this guy actually contributing. And that might be a big ask for, for Bloodborne Artificial Intelligence. Or I just die right at the start. <laughs> All right, cool. That was death number five to to Rom. Great. <sighs> okay, maybe I shouldn't be wasting insight if it's gonna go like that. Um, so the other. The other thought that I have here is I can defer this for a little bit and upgrade that great sword that I have because it seemed to me this fight is going to be less about um, chipping away at the boss and more just doing large damage in the very sh narrow window when you have access to the boss. Um, and I need a big heavy hitter in order to, to do that. So that, uh, that may be the play instead here. So as long as you're hitting these spiders, on the side, they go down fairly quickly. I thin, thin them out a little bit. Then we have less of a spooter party going on here.
going, keep going. Oh my god. Fuck, we're so close. Got him. All right, don't don't kill me first. Ah. <laughs> All right. Whew. Defeat great one, realm the vacuous spider. We did it. All right, that took five deaths. All right. Rom defeated. Five, five deaths. Six attempts. <sighs> okay. A great one, huh? So that's a big boss, I guess. Kin Cold Blood 12. So level 12. So that's like the, the give me 10,000 bloods by using that. And we got 22k from that, uh, that kill. All right, just in case. dead I'm dead I hey, hey Icarus Cathedral Ward ritual secret broken seek the nightmare newborn Oh, this door's open. Oh, God, and I can see that now. Uh. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. So this is the thing that took me, uh, teleported me to the, um, the lecture hall, which I have not done yet. I've only teleported there, and that's it. Uh... Well, okay. This door was closed before, and this was to the um, to the right of the cathedral was where this was. Okay, let's see if we can get past the gigantic hand. All right, it still tries to grab you. It looks like. <laughs> All right, sure. Well, what this? Yahar Ghoul Unseen Village. Uh Away! Away! You don't have a lit torch anymore. So this is like the dudes from the start of the game, except now they're much tougher. The moon is now red. Um, I'm hoping there's a warp point near here because I have a lot of currency right now that I'd like to use for other things. And I don't want to lose it to something dumb. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's the one on the cathedral that takes to the DLC, I think. Maybe. Or not. Never mind. <sighs> okay, 
let me see. What's up with this? Okay, it's just... Just a spooky skeleton in a chair. Okay, well... Interesting? They respawn. Enemies respawn in this area. Or maybe... Okay, maybe that was because I, I used the teleport. Maybe that's why. That makes a bit more sense. Um... Welcome home, good... What is it, you... Good hunter. Your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Okay, that's new dialogue, but... I'm not sure what the significance well, of that is. Hunter. May you find your worth. Okay. Wheelchair guy is not here. Interesting. Alright, so I still don't have any more bloodstone chunks to upgrade the sock weaver. So my, my thought was earlier, if I couldn't beat Rom on that try, what I was going to do was was upgrade the Luvidic's Holy Blade as much as I could um, for the big damage. I think I still might just because I have so many Bloodstone Shards left over. Um, so this, this started off at level 100 damage. Um, yeah, level 100 at the start, so we'll see how much we can pump this thing up. Twin blood shards. Okay, so this is now the same level as the saw cleaver. And this does about, uh... About 20, 20-ish 20 more physical damage. And that's without any um, gems in it. Uh, seven. SKL scaling? Oh, skill scale. Okay. So that, that makes it the, the skill attribute bonus go from C to B. Okay, that's not super useful to me because I don't have a bunch of points in skill. Um, four. So that I want in this. That I want in it. Um, okay. okay, so the Holy Blade hits a lot harder now than it used to. Sure, we'll do that. So now I have I have two options now. I have this for kind of the quick quick attacks and that for for the reach if I need it um, and combos or I've got this for the big hits. Alright, so that, that should do a decent amount more damage than what I was working with before. Welcome. What is and it it's got a longer time? reach, so Very well. I guess if the if the sock cleaver is not working, then I can switch to the, the two hander. Um Okay, I only have enough for one level up. Interesting. If I if I put one point into skill, it gives me three more DPS, three more damage on the big the big sword, and only one more on my sock lever. Interesting. Okay, probably still worth putting points into vitality though. Farewell, good mate. Alright, time to test out 
Test out our sword again. Let's see how effective this is. Plus, I need heals. Because <laughs> I used up a bunch. I probably need to... Do a quick farm here. So is the, the moon... Okay, so the moon is going to be red all the time now. So it's nighttime, and we have a red moon. So that... That is new. And that appears to affect the whole game. Alright. Still defeated by regular birds. Okay. Well, I can two-shot this guy now. So that's... That's something. Before, it used to be five... Four to five hits. Alright. Um, it probably isn't any good. Okay, so against these things... Yeah, this is- this is about the same as the... The Saw Cleaver. against those guys. So it looks like it's it's kind of situational. Okay, that guy used to take two hits to kill. So we're definitely much more effective with the sock lever now. It sounded like there was something something made a, a new sound around here. I wonder if there's something new happening here now. We can one shot those guys now. Um, hey, naked Julie. Yep, we got Rom. Took uh, six tries to beat Rom so far. Which is. There we go. There's our, our list of bosses defeated and how many times I died on them. Uh, so, Cleric Beast. Amelia, the Shadows of Yarnum, and the Witch were all done first try. The rest took a handful of tries so far. And that's kind of where we're currently at. <sighs> Ten times. Nice. There's new enemies here. Okay, so this is... This is different now. Claw Mark. Okay, maybe that enemy was just there for... Strengthens Vistal or attacks. Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah, the... The sword does scale better with, um... Uh... Skill, I think. But it, it would mean I'd have to put points into skill. And eh. So I hear a baby. I was told to seek the nightmare baby. I hear a baby crying somewhere here. Um. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, that okay, that's that's what this was. This was the guy he turned into a beast finally and he broke out. All right, so our bro, he gave us a flamethrower and then we murdered him. <laughs> All right. So that makes me suspect that there isn't actually anything else new here. So I hear the baby. 
I, I kind of suspect I have to go to Nightmare or Moonside or whatever, whatever that area I opened up just now was. It sounded like it was coming from over here, though. Yeah, I haven't heard the baby for a while now. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> so I'm thinking now... I might be done with that forest area because I don't think there's anything else on that path. It, it was kind of just a straight shot unless I missed it in the snake area. Like there might be an offshoot in the snake area. But um, Hemrick Charnel Lane was just a, a straight corridor that ended in the witch's abode and the witch's boss fight, and then we got the, the rune thing at the end of that. Forbidden Woods. <laughs> um, there was... There was the windmill thing, kind of in the middle of it, after the village area. There was a lift down, but that was just a shortcut that I unlocked. Um, and then past that was the snake area, which there might be some other side path in the snake area. It was just such a mess that I didn't really want to investigate it too much. Um... And then past the snake area was the Forbidden Grave where I fought the shadow bosses. And then it looked like there was just one path past that to um, Bergenworth. And then... Bergenworth... I'm pretty sure I did everything. In, there was that trap door in Bergenworth. Let me check that out. Like maybe that's open now. Maybe if I talk to that NPC that was sitting up there. Maybe that is something. That's a possibility. So there's the trap door on the first floor. There's the NPC up on the balcony. Um, okay, so this is still closed. And I did not see a way to open it. No. Okay. Alright. That NPC is still just chilling over here. The moon isn't red anymore. Well, I think this NPC has outlived its usefulness. Strike one. I. Okay. Make 
Oh, get more items. Okay. Yeah, the chair was part of part of the NPC apparently. Um. What type? Okay, that's a regular type. So this will this will get more item drops. Okay. Cool. Uh, so it looks like I can still fall into here. And then... That's it. That's the whole point of this. Okay, cool. <laughs> sure. I'm going to step away for a couple minutes while I ponder this. I will be back shortly. All right. Back at it. Okay. So, options here for forward progress. So, the unseen village. This was the Hypogean Jail. I was able to go there by being kidnapped by one of the, the really strong enemies that carries around a bag. So I've been there, and that's that's a tier 3 place, it looks like. Uh, and Lecture Building is a tier 4, so this is this is probably a bit above my level at this point. 
so... Unseen Village is probably... The way to go for now, I guess. Okay. So this is like Shadow Yarnum. Great. <laughs> okay. Got a little too ambitious there, I think. Um I also saw the the big big space hand tried to grab me when I went down there too. So I'm not sure I'll be able to Okay. Hmm. Okay, and based off of the based off of the respawning enemies as well. Spawning enemy gimmick for this area really sucks. So those must be like summoner enemies. All right, what's little buddy got to say? The Mensis ritual must be stopped lest we all become beasts. Okay. And I probably do that by defeating a boss. All right, so based off, I hear a crying baby. Um, that's a door I could go through. <sighs> All right. So it feels like the strat for this area is going to be run past enemies for most of it. All right, we got another bell ringer there. Oh, she's the one summoning.
Those guys are considerably tougher at this stage of the game. Air. Okay. Ah, here we go. Alright, so I want to rush in there. Take out the summoner ASAP. Otherwise, she's going to keep summoning more dudes. Okay. Up with a shortcut. Okay. Straightforward so far. see cold blood that might be it for things in this area okay this way I hear baby in the distance appear to be like priests all right hello all right come at me any more want some So these are the the same NPCs that were in the the witch area. Okay, so we got over there and down here. This uh, I don't trust that at all. But it looks sounds like everything else respawned, so. Oh, cool, there's another one. And, uh... Okay. Let's... Let's get shot in the face a whole bunch. Cool. Alright, that room sucks. Uh... I'm not sure if the... If the big boys will exit the room, I can draw them out that way. Okay. Um, I'm going to check over here, see if there's something here. I don't think it was a huge amount of money that I'm, I'm leaving by going over here, so whatever. All right, there's some heavy armor. Okay. Uh, that's where I came from. Uh, that thing sucks, it looks like. Okay. Not going to use that. So this... Of course. And that is going to kill me if I fall in there. Okay, well now I know what the point of this part is. 
so it appears the only way to go is down that staircase. Dude. I can already tell the respawning enemies. It's gonna be the worst. Alright. Take out the summoner. Okay. Alright, and we're practically back to where I was. Um, let's see, that's the way I went before. I wonder... Great, 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 great! Oh no! Let's take out you as soon as possible. <laughs> this part, this part sucks so bad. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> I so it sounded like the bell ringer was relatively close. Um, up on that platform. Uh. <sighs> okay. So that appears to be the play, is to just... Run through, take out the bell ringer... Okay, and when you do take out the bell ringer, it staggers the enemies. That are there. Okay. Alright, so I want to go over to here, take out the one here that throws the explosives. Okay, and go over here and look for the bell ringer. Who I continue to not see. Uh-oh. Uh oh my god. What is this? The one over there is... Charging up its laser. Oh, 
Okay. All right, where's our bell ringer? Just roll through it, it's fine. It's only a space death laser. Okay. So it doesn't appear like there was a bell ringer up there, so I guess they're probably... Probably in here. Uh, looks like we got some sort of... Shrine over there. Oh, sick. I didn't even notice this. Perfect. And there's Peepo running away. Okay. I wasn't expecting there to be a shortcut this this soon. That is uncharacteristically nice of the game to do this. Uh Okay, I still hear the crying baby. Probably going to have a crying baby for most of the game now. Well, what is it? <sighs> well, let me... Hmm. I kind of like the being able to do more damage at this point. It, it feels like if I'm going to die from something, then I'm just going to die. And it kind of doesn't matter how much health I have right now. So it feels like at this specific point that I'm at now, um, strength would be good. Actually, and now that I think about it, I might be able to upgrade my weapon now. Because I did pick up some... I can. Okay. So this this will be the biggest bump in, in damage here. Uh... Okay. Let's do that. So we need five bloodstone chunks next. Okay. I'm glad I remembered that I picked up well, what is it? chunks while I was out there. Very well, let me. <sighs> I still like the extra damage though. But it, it also feels like I'm running out of stamina too. So I think I wanna I probably ideally want to get stamina up to 20 endurance up to 20 just so I can get a few more attacks in farewell mate okay all right Yahar ghoul chapel Has it really been 40 minutes since I defeated Rom? <laughs> Doesn't feel like that. Okay. Alright, we gotta go chase down Peepo. No! Dang it. Alright, we gotta be faster than that, I guess. Alright. So far, no, no respawning enemies here. So far, so good on that. I get the feeling I'm going to be fighting one of these things as a boss in this area. On like a rooftop or something. Okay, so we got doggies down there. We got a bell ringer somewhere. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. I have cold blood. <laughs> I completely forgot I have. I probably have like a hundred thousand in, uh, in extra currency. Okay, probably not worth fighting them. Coming in here. You want some of this? Nope. Okay. So this is like... So this, this was supposed to be a lamp, but the lamp broke off. Uh... Hmm. Okay, we got a door there. Door there. That looks like a human enemy. That looks like multiple human enemies. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. This... This looks like a real bad time. Uh Okay, can I open this? Of course not. All right, what does this say? Hopefully this says get good. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. This game gets real dark, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, okay, so. I wonder if I can pull just one of them. Blood, 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 blood. Okay, so I can't fire through this, it looks like. Oh, boy. Alright. Shoot you in the butt. Hello. Oh, good. It pulls both. Great. There is another one? What? Or is that that Mortal Kombat Raiden spawning in? There's three of them. Okay. Well, one of them... The one that's running away doesn't have a huge amount of health, it looks like. Okay. Well, this sucks that there's three of them. And one of them has a cannon, it looks like. <sighs> hmm. So the one that doesn't have the cannon appears to not have much health. Alright, come here, Peepo. Give me your upgrade materials. Give me your upgrade materials. Okay. Alright, good. That will come in handy. That is almost halfway there to another cleaver upgrade. So yeah, looks like I want to run, just run past everything here. I 
I close the door? I can't. Alright. Doggies come in here. So, there's staircases down, down here. There's a door past there that looks like it goes outside. Um... I'm going to run to the middle, grab that item, and then I'm going to keep heading out through that door. Moon. Okay. Okay. What this? What this? Oh good, they follow you out here. Behold the pale blood sky. Oh man. Okay. So that's everything that's out there. What is down here? Okay, so they're just after you this whole time. Cool. Hello. 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 Let me pass. Fuck. <laughs> okay. So it looks like if you don't kill them, they're just going to hound you for the whole level. Um... Let's see. So I'm just thinking, I'm thinking of potential cheeses here. And I'm not really coming up with much. I think I just, I just gotta fight him and win. So that was death number two to them, I think. So we'll, we'll keep track of those. Those might as well be a boss. They've been harder than actual bosses so far. Like, I'm, I'm thinking... Oh, hey, here's the... All right, well, I found the bell ringer here. So that's something, I guess. So what I can do is I can clear out... Clear out all of the enemies out there. And I can bring this... This trio fight... Out here, where I'm less likely to be so rudely interrupted. Because it feels like if I can get him up here, I might be able to cheese him. Um... 
uh, up there. Well, of course he doesn't drop anything. <sighs> of course not. Uh, so that guy up there probably dropped bullets. Okay. So my thought is to draw him up here. I can hit him for a few hits. And actually, if I drop down onto this ledge up here, um, that might be the cheese spot because if I can somehow get him to path underneath there, I can do a drop attack on him. Uh, this 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 plan is not exactly solid, but. So now that I've aggroed him, what is their behavior? It sounds like only one chased me. Because if I can completely separate him, that would be great. Only one chased me. Let's go. One down. Get fucked. Okay. <clears throat> My plan that I thought was real bad turns out is working pretty good so far. Okay, so I am hoping that that guy is, is just gone now. Is never going to respawn. Um, unfortunately, uh, I think that was probably the easiest of the three. Okay, so the next question is, where are the other two? I'm going to be mad if, if you have to kill all three in order to get them to stop respawning. Okay, I don't hear movement. It's not locking on. Interesting. All right. Come at me. Come at me. Yep. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Okay. 
There's one. I don't see the other one. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe this strat worked. You want, you want some strats here. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. I'm right here. Over here. I'm over here, bro. Two down. <laughs> Let's go. Claw mark. Uh, okay. All right, one left. <sighs> now that is, that is some proper stinky cheese. You're not playing it right, Purry. Yep, they're, they're pathfinding, can't handle it, I guess. All right, this is the one with the the cannon and the pole arm. So this one, I got to be extra careful with. Still after me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, hello, sir. Okay, so that one gives up very quickly. Okay, so I can't sprint too far ahead. Ha, 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 ha. 
All right, come here. There we go. There's there's the play. There's the play. Though I am so close to dying here too. Oh god. Okay. So at least I know. At least I know there is a way. Um, okay. So now we'll find out if those guys respawn or not. If they do, then it just means I gotta do, I gotta do that cheese all over again. <sighs> okay, so the bell ringer was down here. So, I I am going to guess they do respawn. That's my guess. Let's see. And they don't. Okay. So, that means I get to take on this one with all my resources. And we might as well make this one a straight up fight. Let's... Come at me.
Okay. Got him. And I only cheesed two of them. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so that was um, three three deaths on those guys. Fourth attempt on the, the triple triple human fight. We did it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it kinda was. Kinda was easier. Though that that fight felt a lot more fair than the um the other fights against hunters have felt. Okay, so out the front door was just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so I think it's probably a better bet to explore down here first. So I think there's a bell ringer in here. In this little prison area. We got this little gross guts werewolf here that I, of course, die to. Fucking hell, dude. Uh... I overplayed my hand on that one. Okay. Alright, and the nice thing is, I can just run past everything over here now. I don't have to take out the bell ringer. Round two against Barf Werewolf. And of course it's got all my money. Okay, that explains why I had trouble with it. It's got different attack patterns than the regular one does. And it only drops the level 2 upgrades. That's annoying. Okay. I came from. All right. We got looks like an enemy right there. No. Two more chunks. Okay, so we have four four out of five chunks to upgrade the the cleaver again. Cool. I'm not sure I want to be going this way. Uh Okay, this appears to be a shortcut. Oh, that must be that door that that I mentioned at the start of the stream. The door that I couldn't uh, I couldn't open before. Uh, there also appears to be a a big something right in front of that door. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure that is the door by the werewolf area. Um. Where I fought Blood Star Beast. I'm pretty sure that's the door. That I wasn't able to open before. And there's also a co-op summon. Or an NPC summon over there. Okay. So there's still another floor I could have gone down. In the... Uh, Oh, 
also this. Of course. Of course. There's another floor out here that I can go down. Okay. Sounds like there's something inside this pillar. Alright, so we got another... in from there. I can close the cell door. I'm not sure why. This... This... Is this... Is this the thing? Is this... This is... I've been here. This is where the abductors take you. Because the a warp point is right over there. I've been here. Huh. Okay. Well, I, I know I can get back here easily then. Huh. Unless, unless this is some weird shadow inverse version of that area, uh, was I, entirely possible, I guess. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh,. Okay, so... So I could continue to explore outside outside here. The other way through the jail looked like a shortcut um, to potentially a boss. Uh, and then... And then out here is the the nightmare shit like that. Um, okay, let me explore outside here then. It's also pretty quick to get back here too if I need if I need to. This area just looks really familiar too. can't quite put my finger on it, but it, it's only giving me level 2 upgrade stuff, though. Okay, so that brings me back here. Okay, that's good, I guess. Um, I don't know why you'd want to go through that door and then over here, but all right. Uh So we got an open gate over there. We've got whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> uh whole bunch of items down there. That that's got to be an obvious trap. Like you don't you don't put that many item things out in the open like that unless like a, a giant boulder is gonna roll through that open door and murder you instantly there's no other reason for there to be something like that uh 
Okay, so up here is an option. There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Okay. I have a feeling wherever this is, it's like late game. This, I'm getting a very late game vibe from this, this area. Okay, where does this go? Oh, up here. Okay. Again, I... Pff, why? <laughs> what? This is like, if you want to avoid... Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. If you want to avoid fighting the three NPCs here, and just run past them, and then go and open that door to get out front, and then down there to uh, to get down to the the jail. Okay, that makes sense why those are there now. But I defeated the the dudes here, so haha. -ha. Kinda doesn't matter for me, I guess. <sighs> but further away, yeah, that's true. Or not have the boulder in the obvious spot coming through the door and have it come through sideways. Or from directly above. Not out of the question in a game like this. So this message was, Behold a pale blood sky. So sure, I... There's probably some lore reason for that. Um, this, I... No. Hello. Okay. This probably means there's a bell ringer somewhere around here. Oh, right here. Hello. Um. So it looks like we got a gate over there that's kind of boarded up. Yeah, this, this looks like it's been filled up with bricks. Maybe? Or it just... I'm too far away and it hasn't loaded in. Uh, when the carriage is rocking, don't come a-knocking. So we'll leave that alone. It looks like I can get on top of it. I'm not sure what purpose that would serve, but... Sure. Um, there's no lamp by those doors, so I can assume that's just... A door I can't use. Uh, let me see what's down this alley first. Man, this thing. This is one gnarly looking thing. Alright, we're safe for now. This looks like a shortcut. Uh... <laughs> this... This goes up to the... The start of the area looks like. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the, the very start of the area. The uh, warp point's just up there. Uh. Okay, neat. And actually, I wonder. I should probably go and level. Because I'm sure if I try to progress too far, I'm just going to die to a boss and lose everything. Hey, yeah, Ocelot. <clears throat> Here is the current, current boss progress. Um, 
I defeated the, sh the three shadows of Yarnum last time. So today was the Witch of Hemwick, which was very easy. And then Rom, the Vacuous Spider, took six six tries to kill. Um, and I, the most recent was killing the three human enemies in the big cathedral thing. Yeah, the shadow fight was tough. That was that was not easy. I was like, <laughs> my heart was beating towards the end. Especially because the um, the range on the the melee attacks for some of them was longer than I thought. <laughs> so that was that got exciting at the end. Um, so I need one more chunk to upgrade the sock lever again. Uh. I don't think I got any more blood gems, but let's make sure here. Okay. I don't see any blue numbers. Slow poison, bolt attack. Okay, so I can I can change this to bolt attack type. I don't want to, but I can. That's an option now, I guess. So I have a fire, a way to convert it to fire type and a way to convert it to bolt type. Um... All right. Cool, I guess. Uh, I'm curious. The the shop for insight was over here, I think. There's a way to spend insight. Oh, it was at the. Uh, yes, I am planning to do the DLC. I don't know at what points I want to, but I I did already unlock it. So I have the, the Hunter's Nightmare here. It, as far as I've gone for it is unlocking the uh, the warp to the DLC. So. At some point, I will, I will do it. Uh... So, is there anything better here than three more heals? Visceral attack up 20. I, I so rarely use the visceral attack that it's probably not worth doing. More blood echoes from visceral attack. Uh, bold defense. Ooh, you get more money from that one. That one's nice. Um, so more drops or oh, or more money. Those are those are pretty good. So if I if I ever need to farm, ooh, if I'm farming health packs, uh, I wonder if that. Hmm. The health packs are guaranteed drops from the things that I farm them from, though. I'm curious. I'm going to equip that and, and see, because I probably need to get more stuff in here. Oh, yeah, I'm down to 47 blood vials. <laughs> you definitely need more of those. Uh, okay, let's level up, and then I want to see if the... Welcome home. What is... Very well. The restorative grind is made better by that. So I can level twice here. All right, that doesn't do a whole lot. That I can get two points in my cleaver by getting skill of 15. Um, it feels like endurance up to 20 is probably as high as I want it want to get it to. So let's just let's just get that out of the way. Get that nice stamina gauge. Um, okay. So I am curious, now that I have that... Uh, the extra... I guess it's called Discovery? If I can get more heal drops. I suspect not. Um, yeah, so my Discovery is 170 now. Where it used to be... 100 
Governs chances of enemies dropping items when defeated. The higher this attribute, the more you will find. So I, I suspect not. Because this guy is always guaranteed to drop, I think, three. And he's probably going to continue to drop three. Alright, birds. Two. Okay. So that was no better. Okay. Um... Does does this game you guys can go ahead and tell me this. Does this game give you like a prompt on it? Like if you proceed past this point, you're in it to win it. You're you're at the final boss. It does not give you that notification beforehand? Okay. Um Alright, I guess I guess we'll have to rely on the honor system here and if I'm about to make that mistake, then then somebody can feel free to point it out if that's about to happen. Because I, I, I don't really want to do New Game Plus if I don't have to. But I'll probably be able to get through it very quickly. Alright, these things are much easier to fight when you're leveled up and it, it's not dropping more than than usual so okay science complete um so i think i want to go back and put the health pack the extra health pack room back on um This kind of looked like it it got split open even more than usual. Uh, it was this one. Plus three. Oh, shit. I put in the wrong slot. Uh, that one, that one, and this one. Okay. I'm just considering my options here for where I want to spawn from. Chapel or the jail or this one and take the elevator down. I think I want to take this. Because I'm thinking I want to explore that the street area with the the moving pile of skull enemy. <laughs> and see what the deal with that was all about. Okay, so there should be two enemies here. Yeah. That one. this and then I want to send it back up okay, L ringers up here. Is 
There's another enemy here. Okay. So. All this. What's the deal with this? Yo, we can upgrade the cleaver now. What the fuck? Fucking jump scares, man. Ah. All right, two more chunks. Okay. All right, ideally take these on one at a time. Well, there goes that plan. Unless... I see. Well... Button. So, question is... Is there any point... My blood. Kin hunters. That was not there before. Okay. Attack versus the kin. 13.9%. Maybe that means human enemies? Huh. 
Okay. Is there any point to going over here? What? It didn't let me do the... Uh, trying to do the cool drop attack. Got my revenge against Mr. Bones. Uh, so it looks like there's an item here. There's also a good chance that some something busts through that wall. <laughs> uh, I'm calling it 50-50 on something busting through that wall. So probably best if I... Don't go up the middle. Tonitrus. Is that a... That's a regular weapon. Oh, yeah. Unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald. Striking this peculiar iron morning star flail like a match. Generates the same blue sparks that blanket a dark beast. Not fully taped to the device. So this is a, a lightning weapon. Yeah, bolt attack and physical attack. Okay. Oh, this is a uh, taser mace. Okay, so you have to periodically refresh the the bolt effect on it. Okay, well, cool. We have a bolt weapon now. All right, so that appears to actually be a brick wall. So the only thing left... Yeah, that's that's the door, as I suspected. So down, down this ramp over here is another one of the Mr. Bones, and then the obvious trap is down there. Pale Blood Sky. All right, Mr. Bones. Okay. Beast Hunter's damp blood jump. Yeah, and all sorts of upgrades. Attack versus beasts up 14%. Okay. All right, this is either a boss fight, a trap, or just nothing. So we got item there, three items there. That might be an openable door. Okay, this might be actually upgrades. It is an upgrade. 
kind of. Uh, not really on that. Um, not really on that either. That's pretty good. That I call an upgrade. Sure. Uh, sure. Okay. So half of that outfit is an upgrade. Cool. All right. So before we trigger the obvious trap here, let's see if this door is openable. It's got different lighting on it. So I'm assuming it is. No. Okay. Well then. Yeah. All right, we got our insight items. This this might be a boss fight door. So that's a sniper up there. It looks like. There are multiple snipers after me, it looks like. And one is shooting, like, blood bullets at me. We got to find the bell ringer. This also looks like a shortcut. Okay, this goes to street level. There's spooky things on the other side of this wall from the sound of things. I don't see whoever was shooting the blood bullets at me. So I think I want to stick to the high path for now. Yeah, all the spooky noises. Oh, God. The spooky noises, the snipers. Huh. This is... Inspect the bath. Um... Uh... Did... What the fuck? Uh What the fuck? I think I'm back in an area I've already been to? Yeah, there's there's Peepo. Come here. Come here, Peepo. Um, 
Yeah, and our, our bathtubs are a little deeper than that, too. Another regional difference, I guess. I'm... Huh. It feels like this is... This is a secret area or something. Oh, I probably could have gotten to this by, by jumping off of a lift to getting to here and then that'd be a quick way to this, I guess. Cool. Uh... Appears to be all that was here, and that's fine because it gave me a bunch of upgrade materials. So the next time that I'm back in the hunter's dream, I can upgrade my cleaver again. It's very nice. Hopefully, this takes me back to where I was. If not, it's a problem. Uh, yes. Okay. It did. Good. There's the bell ringer. Okay. So now we know where the bell ringer is. And we can stop the respawns. Or at least the ones tied to that bell ringer. Um, this is... Okay, so all the spooky stuff is coming from that building over there. Uh, I still don't see where that sniper was. Somebody was shooting me a whole lot from... They look like the middle of the street. Man, this this kind of feels like one of those instances where I kind of just want to run past everything. <laughs> to just get to the spooky as quick as I can. Because I know the middle of the street's going to be dangerous. Though it's not so scary now, now that there aren't any snipers. And I got the respawner. Suits on the other side of the road here. All right, Just a bunch of skulls. Oh, there's a uh, there's a co-op spawn over there. So this is definitely boss. And this is probably a different co-op spawn than the one I saw earlier from the jail area. So it appears there's two, two of them. Defector Antel. Well, let's give it a try. Time for some jolly cooperation. Let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Alright. 
got a flamethrower and half of a spear, it looks like. Sure. All right. Welcome. Let's get him. Whatever this is. Yeah, this is absolutely a boss arena. Okay, so we got some cover on the left. And on the right, potentially cheese. Um, yeah, it's the important part of the spear. It's not just a stick. Okay, we have the great sword. Okay. Uh, Molotov. It's the real Mr. Bones. The one reborn. We got... So we got casters off to the side. Zero. All right, if I didn't have a co-op AI buddy there, that probably would have gone much different. 
This should be what oh, for for like being annoying to fight or difficult. Um cause is it seems like the my co-op buddy just held aggro for most of that, and then you just hide in that one spot and then just Oh, just bad, okay. Just a badly designed boss. I, I can see that. Um, I could see that being more annoying if um, you didn't have the co-op buddy to draw the fire of uh, of the other things there. I need more slots in my uh, my table here. However, you do that in one note. Uh, okay, I'll figure that out later. I guess. <laughs> sure. Um. Okay, let's light this. And now I am curious about that other thing that I saw from the jail. Um, all right, so let's return to Hunter's Dream. Let's level up my weapon. Level up myself. Here's the updated boss kill spreadsheet. Um, so I beat three bosses tonight, the Witch of Hemwick, Rom, the Vacuous Spider, and the One Reborn. The only one that gave me any sort of trouble was Rom. And even then, that didn't take that long. It feels like the music changed here. Huh. I don't remember this vocalization being here. Uh, so still only five in the hot tub. Uh, wheelchair guy hasn't shown up in a while. <sighs> okay, sock cleaver plus seven. We have 11 chunks. Let's do it. Okay, I need two more chunks to do that further. Okay. I got a bunch of blood gems, but I don't think there's any that are going to be a better... F Whoa, what is it? 18%. Holy shit. Okay, never mind. When you see blue numbers, that's always a good sign there. Um, okay, so our sock cleaver becomes even more powerful. Cool. Uh, Welcome home. What is very well? Let. Okay. I get big upgrades on skill if I start putting some points in skill. Like three points there will give me a decent amount of extra damage. And then how about some health? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. So now our sock cleaver can do even more damage. Good hunter. I said farewell. Okay. So... From he, I this is a Yarnum. What? Oh, Advent Plaza. Okay, that's that's what that was. Okay. I was wondering, like, what? Where's that warp point that I unlocked? Um. Okay, so from the chapel. Uh. Chapel down to the second. Go well, all the way down to the bottom basement. I can't believe I was able to cheese cheese those three enemies here. All that. 
All right. Come at me. Okay. All the way down to the bottom here. At least I think it was. Take out the barf werewolf. Like I can, I, I took that down in way fewer hits than before. So definitely feeling that, that upgrade. Okay. So there was a passage through the wall into some cave. Yeah, down here. Maybe it wasn't this. Oh, this is the... This is the jail. The hyper something. Or not. I'm pretty sure I would have picked those up if it was. Shit, where was that passage? I could have sworn it was here. Uh... Yeah, so this is this is the jail. Uh, must have been the floor above this then, I guess. Here it is. Okay. So it's out here through this little tunnel. And then you had to drop down. And there's a closed door there. There's some sort of enemy just taking a nap over there. And then off to the right is a co-op spawn. An AI spawn. So surely... Oh, it's it's the same bro, too. Surely there's a reason for this. All right. Our boy, Hunter Antle. Yep, got the fl flamethrower. Got the, the half of a, a spear again. Let's roll, buddy. So I have a feeling we're fighting that thing. <laughs> How hard can it be? And I'm pretty sure that gate goes to um, a gate that I've seen before. I could just tiptoe around this thing and not fight it. Dark Beast Carl.
<laughs> All right, that was. Dark Beast Parl Zero Yes Alright Updated boss kill list Dark Beast Parl Zero deaths Defeated Alright Cool Spark Hunter badge Okay so that We can almost fight the Elite Four now We have six badges uh, famous eccentric Archibald, fascinated by blue sparks. Okay, so this unlocks more weapons and stuff at the shop. Neat. Okay. And then this goes to Werewolf Town, I think. Oh man, my amount of, of blood echoes is so close to the blessed number. That's annoying. Ah. Yeah. And this this is the 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 door that I was I was thinking of that goes to Werewolf Town. So are you able to open this open this door some other method then to fight to fight the dark beast earlier than that? Cause yeah, clearly I am I'm way over leveled and over geared for this. Huh. So you just naturally supposed to get here? Oh, okay. Uh probably from um getting getting abducted by a abductor, going to the jail making your way out of the jail to here. Um, yeah, when you get kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see. I see. That makes sense. And yeah, like, you could you could get kidnapped very early in the game, so... <laughs> you could... You would... You would be in for a real bad time if you made it this far. That earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, I would call that pretty unlikely. Um... Okay. Wonder if there's an item I can buy for just I get 25. Is there is there a way I can get rid of 25 souls? 25 blood. At 35. Oh, dang it. Almost. All right, hold on. Like it. Run is no longer blessed. Um, let's see. I'm curious. So from this hot tub, there's four of them in it. Uh, lead elixir shifts weight to deflect attack. Temporarily makes deflection easier. Slows movement with no change of defense. Well, that sounds great. Uh... The co-op bell. Oh, I can buy upgrade materials here. That's a lot of insight, though. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I'll save my insight for summoning bros. So we should have six in the hot tub now. Yep. There's there's six little buddies in the hot tub. So, what can we get? Uh, nothing new there or there. Oh, I can buy the thing that I got already. Hey, cool. <laughs> At least I know that thing's expensive. So, if I if I need to sell it for some reason. Um, nothing new here. I also got the cannon. Uh, nothing new there, or there, or there, or there. Okay. Welcome 
welcome. What is it? Very well, let me. Okay, so I can only level up twice. That goes up even more. That goes up by three. I, I really like having high stamina. I feel like that's that's more key. Like you could you can replace stamina with being good at this game. If you can just spam that attack and then still have enough to roll away to safety, that's kind of like been the key part of my gameplay so far. Um, along with cheesing things. <laughs> um, so I think even more stamina won't hurt. So we can just Farewell. we can just roll all day. Uh okay, 450. This is probably a good place to stop. We made a lot of progress today. <laughs> a lot of progress today. Um I don't think I got any new runes. It's great that I can finally use runes, too. This is fantastic. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's, that's probably a good spot to, to call it there. So, according to our in-game timer, we should be roughly the same as my own timer here at 19 hours, 55 minutes. Um... It was two minutes. Uh, the timer should read 19.53 on here. Oh, okay. Never mind. Our in-game time is ahead of my my timer now. Got it. Um, And then as far as boss progression goes here, we started off the stream right here. So we beat the Witch of Hemwick, which is a very easy fight. Um, kind of a boring fight, too, because it was just like the boss disappears, spawns an easy additional that you can kill in like two hits. And then she becomes not invisible. You hit her twice and then repeat the cycle for a few of those cycles. And then that's it. So that was easy. Um, Rom, the vacuous spider was initially difficult um the thing that put me over the top to beat rom was clearing out some of the spiders uh in the first the first location that rom appears at um because there aren't many of them and rom isn't being aggressive during that part so getting a few hits on rom in and then taking out like four spiders was enough that it became less dangerous later on in the fight um, and and made that more doable and I, I soloed that one I don't think I had a co-op an AI co-op for that one um, the one reborn was pretty easy just summon the the AI guy and he he kept most of the aggro from all of the the sorcerers throwing fireballs and also from the really slow boss. <laughs> Uh, so you just hack away at the boss and then boss dead. GG. Uh, and then Dark Beast Parl was an early game boss, I guess, and just really easy on that one, too. Uh, so there we go. Most of the deaths to this were to just random enemies, and um, probably the hardest encounter today was those three human enemies in that um, the chapel area. Uh, where it, it took strategy to beat them. And the strategy ended up being pull them one at a time outside and up the stairs to that uh, the part where you start the area and then kill them one at a time. Sometimes from complete safety. And it worked. Like, I don't feel great about it, but it works. <laughs> so I'll take it. Uh, and that is pretty much what we did tonight in the Bloodborne. So, making good progress on this. 
I have no idea how far in I am to this. I have a feeling we might be starting the DLC um, soon-ish, maybe? Uh, just based off of, like, how far I am in the, the Tombstone Warp Zones. Um, it feels like I'm most of the way through the third third one which kind of only leaves that fourth one of the the lecture building um so i don't know i don't know i have no idea how much of the game is left uh as i as i mentioned before once i get to the point of no return in the main story somebody let me know of uh, hey this is the point of no return go do the dlc because i don't really want to do the um the new game plus my ps5 just it turned itself back on again and installed an update sure <laughs> all right consoles and all that um okay that'll do it for tonight thank you for joining me on this bloodborne adventure hope you all have a great day night morning or evening wherever you are thank you for watching and i'll see you next time take care